Hi guys, in today's video we're looking at a Worcester Green Star 24i Junior. So in this video I've got my son with me Miles doing his training. So he's going to be doing most of the talking in today's video. He's going to show you what he's learned on his little fault, what we've come across. He's just going to go through what he's done or what he's going to do. And hopefully for new engineers like Miles, you'll learn a bit from today's video. So we've been called out to this boiler because the customer said it's been losing pressure and the red light's also been flashing. So I'm going to try and figure out what's going on. So because there's a problem with the pressure, I'm going to see if there's something wrong with the expansion vessel. So we're going to put the boiler in engineer mode by holding this until it goes orange. And this is to get the boiler hot quickly. So after a few minutes of running it, the pressure has gone from one and a half to two, which should suggest that the expansion vessel is flat. So we're going to repressurize that. Turn the power off, and because the boiler is downstairs, we're going to isolate the flow and return valves underneath the boiler here. stiff but there you go just dropping the front down now with this screw there you go so we're draining the boiler from this point now we've connected our holes just going to turn this anti-clockwise and should hear the water coming out Yep. So we're going to start pumping the, some air into the expansion vessel which is at the back here. So first remove the cap. And put your foot pump on your shader valve. Like that. So as you can see it's flat and we're going to start pumping air into it now. So we've uh, pumped it just over one. This is just in case any air escapes when removing the foot pump from the trailer valve. So now we're putting the cover, the front back up. Now we're opening our isolation valves once again. Now we've filled it back up, we're going to put it back into engineer mode. The first reason being because we need to get the air out of the boiler and then the second reason being to see that the expansion vessel is working. So same again, it's going to hold that until it goes orange. So we've had it on for about five minutes. The needle is staying stable. It's not rising up to two or three like it was before, which would open the PRV, which is what we want. So that's all good. So all that's left to do is put the case back on and uh, on to the next job. So that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed. And that's it from us too. Bye for now.